Breaking UK's annual quadcopter challenge wouldn't be possible without our army of STEM ambassadors who mentor and guide our teams. Here's what they have to say about a career in STEM, their involvement with the challenge and why they're passionate about helping young people learn about STEM subjects. STEM ambassadors of Raytheon actively promote and encourage the upcoming generation to pursue a career in STEM related subjects. It's a great opportunity to go um, and take you know some of your knowledge and experience back out into the community. Or it could be something such as attending your local school to promote the four STEM core values. Uh, we also go to air shows and science fairs. And maybe open up a part of science that some children and some young adults have never seen. It's actually there is so much fun to it and I love being a STEM ambassador. It's all about giving back when you can. I've always been interested in how things work. Um, from an early age, I was taking things apart like uh, radios, computers. Went to many air shows and learned lots about engineering and aircraft. My granddad was in the Royal Air Force as a navigator, and my dad used to overhaul jet engines. I wanted to find a career that blended both my um, skills and, and interests uh, with my hobbies. I used to go during half term to my dad's work and that allowed me to uh, climb into the service hatches of, of Gulf Streams and Lear jets and uh, Bombardier aircraft. I've always been absolutely fascinated in aircraft and aviation, uh, so I thought the logical thing to do would be to join the Air Cadets. I was definitely interested in business management. Hands down, maths, science anything like that. I like uh, space stuff as well, I find that really interesting. Mainly maths and science. Things like maths, chemistry um, and biology. I also did enjoy product design, um, particularly resistant materials. What I actually went on to study at university was um, history and philosophy of science, um, blending, blending arts and, and, and science together. I was studying forensic computing. It's a subject I find fascinating, diving into computers. I came straight to Raytheon from school. I studied um, English, maths, business management, PE and music. So I studied aerospace engineering at the University of Hertfordshire. Bachelor science degree, um, majoring in science, which was predominantly based on maths and biology. I went to the University of Surrey and I completed a master's degree in aerospace engineering. The best thing about my job is how varied it is. I never know what I'm going to come into, which is really exciting. I get to work with like-minded people, but also people of great variety and calibre. There's always something new and something exciting. The people that I work with I have a really diverse team. I think the variation in workload is something that's really paramount for me. Raytheon's a great company to work for. They're, they're interested in me, they're interested in my career progression and looking after me. It provides lots of challenges. It's just a great place. There's so many opportunities. Um, they really support you. Enjoyment from start to finish. So I love it. I get to use my technical degree and background to really understand the products we build that little bit more. Best bit of advice I can give anyone thinking about a career in STEM is stay curious. Don't be afraid. Just go for it. If you really want to do it, don't find it daunting. I hope you should really consider it. I'd say go for it. Get out there, get involved. Don't think that you only need to be a doctor or an engineer. There are many different paths of STEM and you could work in many different industries yet still be involved in a STEM related career. STEM is exciting and interesting and there's a niche somewhere for each one of you to have a career in a STEM subject. You can find out more about the Raytheon UK Quadcopter Challenge or STEM careers by visiting the Raytheon UK website below.